What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dom, and welcome back to Dom Up Cuz. And, uh, and how was y'all's Christmas, man? Mine was great. Uh, let me know about your Christmas in the comments below, 100. Before we start the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. And yeah, man, let's get into it. So, if you know by the title of this video, if you've seen it, uh, you'll see why, why I'm going to be talking about this. So today, the Los Angeles Clippers went against the uh, Dallas Mavericks. And the, the Mavericks beat the Clippers by 51. 51, 124 to 73. You do the math. You do the math. And at one point, they were up 77 to 17. 77 to 17, man. Bro, what happened? Um, um, shoot. Paul George, um, he had 15 points, but on 30% shooting. Uh, who? If that doesn't ring a bell, here you go. Shots, though. George, way off. It's the side of the backboard. I'm, I'm baffled by what just happened, you know? I mean, Kawhi was out. He did get elbowed by Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka has some sharp elbows, I tell you that. But they didn't have Kawhi. Um, that's probably one fact on why they didn't play well. Um, I'm going to tell you this. I got, I'm got. i going to take back everything I said about Paul George in, a, in that previous video where I said stop the Paul George slander. Look what happened, man. Really, look at what just happened. Paul George just choked, man. He choked. 15 points on 30% shooting is horrible. Okay? I mean, the rest of the team is pretty bad. Um, they don't really have anybody else except Paul George and Kawhi Leonard and Lou Williams is regressing. Patrick Beverly is just Patrick Beverly. Um, and everything like that. So, I don't really see... This, if if it was just Paul George and this team, it would be horrible, you know? And I don't see Paul George even being the same player as he was in Indiana or OKC now. Because there's no excuse for why you're going to say, I'm on my comeback season, right? And then you just mimic what you did in the bubble, 15 points on 30% shooting. This was bad, man. This is not a good look for Paul George or the Clippers. Trades need to happen. One reason why this team isn't succeed didn't succeed is because they don't have facilitating. That's only that's another one reason out of many. They don't they have they have no facilitating at all. Paul George is a scorer, right? He's a scorer and rebounder. Kawhi is a scorer defender, right? And slash rebounding. Who else on this team is going to pass the ball, right? Who else? Not Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly's crazy, man. All he's going to do is play defense, right? Or what is Lou Williams going to do? You're just going to score the ball? Luke Kennard, he can't play no defense, and he sure cannot pass the ball well. Marcus Morris, what is he going to do? Evita Subak, get some points in the paint and rebound the ball. Nicholas Batum. Reggie Jackson, Bobby Schmurda, you know? I mean, people locked him up for, for days. Um, Mifayandu Kebengele, I don't even know if he's on the team. Terrence Mann, uh, I think he's a rookie or whatever. Daniel Otoru, I think he's a rookie. Patrick Patterson, don't need to say nothing about him. Jay Scrub, his last name's Scrub, so he's a scrub. Amir Coffey, I don't think he's even playing. So this team is pretty bad without, without, if it, it, this team, without Serge Ibaka, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard is the worst team in NBA history, okay? With one piece gone, Kawhi gone, oh, that team's bad. Paul George gone, horrible, Serge gone, dismal. So, and Kawhi, when Kawhi's on the floor, he's making shots regardless. Y'all saw in the Lakers game where he was just putting up shot after shot, and it was just going in, in, in. That opened up shots for everyone else because they were everybody was focused on Kawhi and Paul George. That opened up shots for Serge. 
uh, Nicholas Batum, Luke Kennard, Marcus Morris, uh, Patrick Patterson, if he even played that game, you know? So, real in, in reality, Paul George is washed. He can't carry this team. This team cannot be carried. Because he's bad now. I'm telling you, Paul George has regressed to a point where he'll do good one game, but he'll do horrible the next. He'll be looked at as just a shell of himself now. Paul George is just a shell of himself and that he's never going to be what he used to be. Now, he may prove me wrong. He's proved me wrong in the first game of the season. Now he's proved me wrong again. Can he prove me wrong once again? Maybe. But as of right now, Paul George is is not it right now. 15 on 30%. Got clapped up by 51. And uh, this team desperately needs a point guard. Desperately. A real point guard. Not a trash-talking defense-minded point guard, a real point guard that's actually going to play, that is going to pass you the ball and create offense. They don't need the triangle offense. They just need a regular offense and a real point guard, and they'll succeed. So let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is it, again, one too early to judge Paul George off of this one bad game? Um, Maybe... He may prove me wrong again. He proved me wrong once, so he may prove me wrong again. So let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. And be with your boy Dime. And uh, yeah, man. How can you like the video and not like 100?